So here's a little update on this tank. We'll see how the Aptage is doing. Uh, still some, I mean, this, this tank has a ton of Aptasia. Uh, last time we hit it with the F Aptasia. There's still a decent amount in here, but where, the, where we hit with the F Aptasia, um, it seems to have kept it off. It's, it definitely worked. Scully looks great. Ghani's struggling a bit, but the lights just came on, so. A bit of green on the rock. The acro's doing great. The thing is just beautiful. I love that thing. We got some Aptasia all in here in these pallies, and you can see there's still one in there. Trumpets just being swallowed by those pallies. But the area right here where there was some Aptasia inside this Lobo, we killed the big ones, but there's little ones that have sprout up. Unfortunately. Chalice is still looking good. Yeah, so there's still plenty of Aptasia left in here that we're gonna have to hit today. The tricky part is they're just smaller. A can's looking really full. This thing is just taking off. That's awesome. It's just going nuts. It's an awesome, healthy A can colony. Lassos look good. So yeah, let's um I'm gonna go ahead and hit some more spots. It's getting a little more difficult because the Aptasia is getting smaller, but Hopefully the Aptasia filefish can get those or the pepper mushroom can get those. You can see there's some bigger ones in there hiding away. A little bit harder to get to, harder to reach. So uh, let's check out the back. Marine Beta, what a beautiful fish. Oh, he's gonna go and hide now. Whatever. Lavona's still looking good. Some Aptasia hiding back there. This back part is a little bit harder to reach. How the blasto doing? The blasto looks like it's recovering a bit. Good, more flesh. It's a little bit bigger. That's good. He, long those hawkfish thinks he's gonna get fed. I'll feed you guys, just not now. Oh, look at the marine beat beta poking his head out. <laughs> he must be hungry. What's up, bud? All right. So I'm gonna hit a little bit more of the F Aptasia today. Um, feed these guys and just do a routine uh, service on it, do a decent water change. But uh, there's some progression, not as much as I'd like. Well, I'll just hit it again. So I'm going to go ahead and use the F Aptasia and I'm going to get this Aptasia right here that's in between this uh, hammer coral. Just so that he doesn't start stinging. Try to get some of the base, some of the aptasia that's on the base here. All underneath here. Um, there's also an aptasia that's bothering this. I'll, write, I'll, I'll put him right side up. This clownfish is blocking it, but um, you can see there's, right. a, there's a big boy right there. I'm gonna get him. Uh, let's try to hit some of this rock right here where the mushrooms are at. And then if we go over to the pallies, let's hit that again. There's some in there that we have to get. Um, and then, I don't know about this Lobo. This thing's struggling. I don't know. It's going to be tough. Just try to hit a couple of spots around here. Um, you can see there. I mean, the Aptasia are everywhere. They're inside the rock. They're really hard to get to. And they're really some really difficult spots. Um, well, let's just try to get as much as we can. And then hopefully that the, uh, you know, especially the bigger ones, and hope that the peppermint shrimp and the Aptasia 
uh, foulfish uh, can do the rest. So I'm gonna hit a couple spots and just, you know, let's just try to, you know, take a step by step. Kill that guy right there. Uh, it's definitely getting better. It's not as bad as it was originally. So we'll get a couple spots right now. So the other thing when using Aphaptasia, you wanna make sure that all your flow is off. So power head off, uh, other power head over there is off and the return is off. So there's no flow going through this tank. It's calm, you can see the corals aren't moving so that this stuff won't spread all over the tank and accidentally burn uh, another coral. This is gonna be tricky because I do not wanna get any of this onto that euphilia coral, onto that hammer coral, because it will burn it and it will kill it. So I have to be very precise and very careful when using this. So it's very important to have no flow right now. So this is a bit tricky, but th this syringe comes with a curved uh, little tip. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to make them think it's food. It's hard to see from this angle. Try to find where he's at. There's another one on the base here. Cover him up the best that I can. Let's get this sucker right here. It's almost like a foam or just like kind of encrusted on top of them. It's pretty cool. Just one note when using F Aptasia, when you're done with it, make sure that you run um, the little tip under some hot water and the syringe as well. You maybe flush the syringe out a couple times, a couple pumps with the uh, little nozzle here um, uh, with a little lever. Uh, because if you don't rinse them out right afterwards, you can see in there it's kind of gunky. That can build up and then end up clogging so that it doesn't work as well, doesn't come out as well through the tip. Um, so it's important to rinse these out the best you can after use if you want to, you know, be able to use them for the full life of the of the Aptasia. Um, just something I noticed because once it's once it gets hard in there, it's really really tough to get it out, uh, and it's more work than it's worth as opposed to just as soon as you're done rinsing it with some hot water. A little water change now. Uh, probably gonna only take it down to about. Uh, it's about the power head. This tank's pretty old. Uh, it's older. It's pretty well established. You can tell by the coralline algae on the rocks and on the overflow. Uh, so the nitrates and phosphates are right where we want them. So I'm just going to do enough to kind of keep the water chemistry in check. And uh, we'll go ahead and drain. Uh, have my hose all set up. I'll drain a decent amount. And then we'll just go ahead and drain. And then we'll drains out. As you can see, the hose just keeps going. It drains out into a drainage system over to the side. So as we're draining right now, I'll go ahead and show you the other tank that they have at this residence. Um, we just switched it over to a red sea tank. It was a bio cube. So we took everything inside and we just turned it into, uh, put it inside the, uh, uh, a red sea tank. So let's, let me slow this down a bit. All right, so over here in the corner, they upgraded from a bio cube to a uh, red sea. Um, it's the all-in-one, it's the max. So it's got the protein skimmer in the back. Uh, filtrations in the back. Um, storage in the bottom, electric in the bottom. But we do have an issue. I mean, you can see the glass is dirty, I haven't serviced it yet. Um, it does have some flatworms that we're gonna have to deal with and keep an eye on so they don't get out of control that came in on some of the coral. And I also want to add some, uh, maybe some hammer corals to this tank. We'll, we'll see what we can do with this tank, but I definitely want to liven it up. But we just set it up, we want to make sure everything's balanced. So I'll go ahead and clean the glass and do a, a test of water and see what kind of water change I need to have done. But it's an awesome setup. This Red Sea's really clean looking. Red Sea light, yeah, this is a beautiful tank. So this is the tank I have in the van. It holds about 300 gallons of water. Uh, I'm about 175 right now. So we'll go ahead and pump in. And uh, that, that's pretty much it for this service. Um, besides just doing, you know, the filtration and clean out the protein skimmer and things like that. So that's just a, that's just a quick rundown of the tank. 
Uh, it's doing good. Like I said, the main problem is the Aptasia, so we'll have to keep fighting that. And hopefully the peppermint shrimp are still alive, the marine beta didn't eat them. And uh, hopefully uh, the, the uh, Aptasia filefish can start putting in some work uh, also. So that's it. Have a good one.